so people leaving. Well, I don't know if I've talked about it. I think I might have um, before on this channel. I know I've definitely talked about it on Twitch before. And I've had some people express to me the concern about people in their lives leaving and they're worried about them leaving, whether it's because they have mental health issues or they have health issues. And the reality is people are going to leave. You know, when we try to hold on to people tightly, it just makes them want to scurry and get away quicker. And in actuality, those people that actually care and want to be there for you, they will be. And yeah, it's not going to be a ton of people. And that's not just like bring you down or anything. It's just to let you know that if you're, you know, in your later 30s like me and say you have five good people in your life that you can count on, you should consider yourself relatively blessed because there's not tons of people that can say they even have that in my age bracket. So yeah, that's something to think about. And that that's people that are not necessarily even sick, right? So when you are sick, it can be harder to form connections because people don't seem to understand the illness portion of it. And I get so exhausted, I don't know about you, but I do, get really exhausted explaining everything that's going on with me all of the time. Because when you're doing that kind of stuff, you're actually re-traumatizing your body and your mind and it actually can make you feel much more tired. And the reason I say that is because there's this great book, um, called The Body Keeps Score, which talks about how your body will hold on to trauma, essentially, and that trauma will resurface. So there's a difference between like going and talking about the trauma with a therapist and working through that trauma and coming out on the other side of it better, right? But you have to dig out the nitty gritty of it. You have to get the pus of the situation out because it's become a scar. It's become semi-healed, even though there's still infection in there and you gotta get that out. And the only way to do that is to do that with a therapist. Now, that doesn't just speak to health issues or men it's mental health issues too, it's both. By going and talking about the traumas that we faced, whether it's because of people leaving, or it's because of how we're treated in the medical system, or because people left because of our health or our mental health, like it's important to go and talk to someone about those things. Now, I really struggled with making friends, or I've really struggled with making friends as an adult because I put up a lot of walls. I don't want people to necessarily see how really sick I am because that's when people leave. And that's why I put videos out there of me doing these talking head things. You're not really seeing me walk around and fall on the floor. <laughs> you know, you're not seeing me pass out and nearly hit my head. Um, you're not seeing a lot of that stuff. And I think that's partially part of the reason why people don't think I'm as sick as I am. But in actuality, if all you do is see me sitting here, you can't make any assumptions about me. That's just reality. You can assume things, sure, go ahead, but at the end of the day, I know how sick I am. And regardless of what something is said by some person on the internet as to how sick I am not, they do not live my, in my conditions, they do not live in my body, they don't understand what I'm going through, so they cannot attest to that, whereas I can. And Part of the reason I have known for myself that I don't necessarily let people see me how sick I am in that regard, where I'm falling on the floor, where I'm crawling across the floor, where I'm unable to walk, where I'm convulsing, where I'm shivering and having these issues with body temperature and having swollen face, swollen tongue, countless rashes, I could go on and on of all the symptoms that I experienced that people have seen. And when they have that look of horror on their face, and they just have nothing to do with me afterwards. Yeah, it hurts me. Yeah, it sucks. And it's happened to me a lot, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna give up. I actually had someone tell me once that they hated my scars. And that just like really hurt. Like I can't get rid of any of my scars. I'm not gonna be ashamed of any of my scars. My scars are proof that I've lived. My scars are proof that I've survived things. And at the end of the day, we should embrace our triumphs and not allow other people to make us feel like crap because there's some aspect of our body that they don't like. So that just comes back to other people and their views and other people may not 
necessarily know how to cope with someone with mental illness. They may not know how to cope with someone with physical illness. That's what it comes down to when people leave. It comes down to their coping skills or that they have maybe too much going on in their own life that they're not talking about, that they're keeping secret from you and everyone else. So we really don't know what's going on with someone else. So we can't speak to, to that. Yes, it's gonna hurt when people leave and it's gonna suck, but let them go. Why hold on to them tight? If someone's gonna leave, they're gonna leave. And if they're not gonna leave because they want to leave, they will show you that they don't want you in their in their life by avoiding you, by neglecting you, by not answering you, by essentially ghosting you. So what's more important? Holding on to someone so tightly that doesn't wanna be in your life or letting that person go and finding people that want to stay. If you're so busy being caught up in those people that want to leave your life, you're going to miss opportunities to make friends and connections with people that are actually going to stay, that are going to want to be around you. I know for myself, I would rather let go of the past and move towards the future. Because... The future's unknown. And I would much rather have hope for better days than live in disparity of the past. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a great day. Talk soon. Bye.